Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I use to record, edit, and make my thumbnails with. So let's get into the video. But if you haven't subscribed, we're literally like 80 subs away from 500, so it'd be great if you haven't subbed, and you can sub. Oh, so here I am on my desktop, and I use OBS Studio to record my videos. Let's just pull it up. As you can see, I'm recording right now. That's my mic there. We're recording. You can also live stream with this, but I don't live stream with OBS Studio. I actually use Streamlabs OBS. If I just open this up. It's just got the exact same settings. I just put Reddit because I usually use this on my thing and it's not actually recording you can record on the live stream with this so it's literally the exact same as OPS studio which is quite neat and then you can also look at your stream stuff you can add layouts and stuff which i'm going to do for today's stream how to get out of this i can also go in settings and just change all my stuff bitrate all that Audio, video, hotkeys, advanced, scene collect. That is what I use to record. I also use my stream deck just to switch through scenes and stuff. Like I could switch to my. I'll just go into my streaming bit. I can put on a starting soon. At stream ending. And then I can also put it on a gameplay, but there will be nothing displayed because there's no games open. So people ask me loads of times in my comments, what do I use for editing? So as you can see right here, there's the Premiere Pro logo. I just have to open that up. And then this is just all my projects that I've worked on. So if I just press new project, uh, that's fine where I want it to be saved. Let's just call it tester. Like that. And now if we go to files. Uh, we'll take a random blooper. I think it was this one. Or was it this one? We'll take this one. Why not? As you can see it's in here. And let's give it a wee play. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Oh, uh, why did I clap? Let's start again. Yeah, so as you can see, I clapped <laughs> randomly. Just don't know why. So if we just go along. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If we go back a frame. We can go back two frames. We'll just cut it down there. And there, like that. And then if we listen about video uh, why did I so it's around about just one video uh, why did I hmm. let's start this again just to see if we got in the right place hello everyone welcome back to another video yeah I let you cut clopped on the spot so we can just go back to our cut and then we can skip one frame if I just drag this along like that, we can go down here to our cut, we can go along one frame, and then we could cut down there, like that. Now if I just go top it, I select this, delete, delete, drag that along like that. Oh, it's a clock removed from the video. If I just make that a bit shorter, like that. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. No, it's actually still in it, so I just need to cut out a bit more. I'll just cut there, why not? This is just a wee tester, it's not actually a proper video. Of course, I would be doing this more professionally if I'm actually editing. So if I go there, delete, delete, drag you along, drag you along. And then that should be it. Back to another video. Uh, why did I cl Yeah, you just heard that like, video there. So if I just drag you along like so, delete this. 
Um, we'll just ex exit. Uh, no, I don't want to. So that's how I edit. I also make, if I go to Photoshop, wherever it is, Photoshop, where's my Photoshop? Oh well, Photoshop's not wanting to pop up for some reason. But when I don't put any budge, any money into my YouTube, I used to use this app called Photopia, there it is. It's just basically I can do anything I want to, but it's all the same. So that's the size what a normal YouTube thumbnail is. We'll just call this test. And um, that's it. Just create. And then if I just go file open play, open place, well, yeah, open in place. If I just go to dot downloads, uh, we'll just take this image, whatever image this is. Oh, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator for my thumbnail. Uh, you can use shift to keep it still, but that's all right, because it's actually lined up. So if I just get rid of you, if I just go to edit, undo, slash redo, and then undo redo. Oh well, let me delete it, I'll just delete it from here. I know we'll just go to file, open and place this one. If I hold shift and then drag it, it doesn't, it can't move it about, so it's just going to line up like that. But it's kind of went all wonky, so that's when I can come into play and just do it myself and make it look nice. There we are. And that's that. And then you can just add a bit of text. Um, we want to make it, let's just make it 70, why not? 70 uh, with a colour of red. Hi, oh, because I put it, oh, I can just move it after. Hi everyone, like that, and I can just drag that up there. Oh, that's there, you can also change the font up here. Uh, this one, this is what I had in my logo. Like that. Let's put that there. Right there. And we could also take another image in. Open in place. Uh, we'll take this. Whatever this is. Pepper Pig. Why not? We can make that nice and small like that. We can just shove it down in the corner. Why not? And then you can just go file, export as PNG or whatever you want to use it as PNG, JPEG. I usually go for JPEG. In this, I'm using a PNG, a white background. There we are. Test up that. And then if I just make a, if I just go to YouTube.com, now I can go to my. I will just go to upload. Why not? You can actually do it by the YouTube Studio, but we'll do it for from here. Upload video. I know if I go in here, um, let's go to videos, we'll just take this video, why not? Close you down, random test, and then I can just go down here, and because I'll just do that, and because it's just downloaded directly, I can just drag it in, like that. There it is. Rubbish thumbnail. It'll do its checks and stuff. It's processing. I like this new feature check so if you get copyright claims and all that. It will just make it unlisted. And then we just press save. It's checking. 1%. That's it. Done. No, it's published. I can copy the link. I could go to Discord and just share it. I was to go right down to my Discord, I could just say, Hey, at everyone, here is a blooper. And then I could paste it in, but I'm not actually going to do that, so I'll cancel that and we'll delete this video that we uploaded. So if I just go here and delete 
There we are. Here's my latest video, 23 views. It's got a copyright claim from some kind of children's program thing. Kids clips from the server to there. I could dis I could dispute it, but it's not really worth disputing it because I didn't really put that much things over it so at that point so that'll be why they cut on the copyright dot section of the video so anyways everyone thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video see you next time bye